Okay, this is funny. So, the paper says Hong Kong's expats are fleeing in large numbers. There's a picture of a long line of travellers, a quote from a departing Mr. Smith, not his real name, and a paragraph saying, He is not alone. There were 27,303 departures in the week ending February 20. They're all up to Singapore, the quote says. It seems pretty cut and dried. Or maybe not. Let's look a bit deeper. First, I really hate the way white people are referred to as expats, while non-whites are economic migrants. I mean, they're all economic migrants, right? Second, the implication that 27,000 expats left in a week rang alarm bells. If that was true, the lesser spotted Guai Lo would be completely extinct by the end of next week. The bars would all go out of business. Most journalists don't really understand what net outflow actually means. It does not refer to the number of people leaving. If 100,000 people arrive in a city every month and 100,000 depart, the net outflow is zero. If the net outflow is above zero, it can be because people are leaving or because fewer people are arriving. Arrivals will drop if, to pick a random example out of the air, a city banned flights from certain countries and started reporting thousands of COVID cases every day. Third, there were thousands of people on the move, but they're almost all going to be Chinese, and many will be going into China. The figures come from Hong Kong's three exits, one of which is an airport from which a number of flights go into China, and the other two are border crossings, both of which go into China. Of course, let's look at the picture. What do we notice? Well, everyone in it is Chinese. It's a picture of Hong Kong people going into China. So on first impression, this article is about expats flying away from this part of China. The closer look tells a different story. Of course, some expats are leaving Hong Kong, but are they going to Singapore? In fact, Singapore appears to have lost way more foreigners than Hong Kong has. 30,000 expats have left since the beginning of 2020. What's really happening is that some expats from Hong Kong and a lot of expats from Singapore are heading west because they dislike East Asia-style pandemic restrictions. Maybe this is evidence for the theory that Asian societies are more cohesive and Western ones more individualistic. I'd love to know what you think. Goodbye.